Hi, I'm Dale. Welcome back to Blackwood Tunes Like It Used To, the show where I make songs that sound like other band songs, but they're not other band songs, they're mine. Recently, I've moved studios, as you can see. I had a little bit of an accident where I put my hand through a window while carrying some equipment, so I won't be using my full range of motion today. I'm going to have to do a shorter episode with a simpler band to play. So this episode is going to be about Rammstein. Rammstein, the German industrial new metal band, have been around quite some time. I first heard of them on the Family Values tour with Korn and Lib Bizkit back in the late 90s. And throughout that time, they've managed to fairly much perfect or exact their sound. Rammstein have a very certain style. It's simple and effective. It uses 2-4 four and 4-4 four, four beats, very simple drum beats, uh, usually drop tuning with open chug riffs. This should be a walk in the park, but for this. And most of the Rammstein sound is about production. So I figured that while I'm a little incapacitated, it might be a great opportunity to show off some of the production stuff that I do and maybe give you a couple of tips at home that you can use. Okay, so this mix isn't very difficult. The first thing that I laid down was some drums and we've got a very simple Auric style beat there. Let's take a look. There's a little bit more work on the hats than the previous Auric beats, but it mostly works. For the drum pack for this song and most songs, I use Stephen Slate drums. However, I'm fairly certain that Easy Drummer, Drum Kit From Hell, all of those guys will do a similar and respectable job of the same thing. We're just looking for generic metal kits that have a big snare sound and a big kick sound so that that slow Ramstein beat kind of comes through. The next thing was to lay down a guitar. Uh, I just went with a fairly simple part. Like normal, you want to try and double that exactly the same on the right speaker and the left speaker. Get a little bit more width. And to make this sound really industrial like Ramstein, I actually added a third one that I put in the center and turned the volume down on. Now that's starting to sound real spicy. It's got that nice spice. For the guitars, I'm using amp modeled Mesa Boogie dual rectifiers. I've forgotten, they've got some crazy stupid name in Bias Effects, which is the plugin that I'm using. You don't need to get Bias Effects, Line 6 is fine. Get whichever one works, get the Mesa Boogie and try to put a tube screamer on it. Turn the gain down for both. The next thing that we want to add in is bass. Now I feel like I need to apologize to a favorite YouTuber of mine, David504. I haven't asked permission to play this bass track and I played it with a pick. If you pick, it sounds thick. It's also metal bass, so I buried it way down in the mix. And I put an overdrive over it to cover up the sloppy playing. Enjoy this, David. Pick. On its own, it sounds a bit like that. Oh yeah, that's some bass. The main synth I picked for this is kind of interesting. Notice how it gates the other note. It only allows one note to play at a time. Do that. And now it's time for the vocals and the lyrics. There are two tricks to it. One, keep it low. And two, keep it German. Now, I don't know a lot of German. I learned a tiny little bit in primary school, but I think I know enough to write a Ramstein song. Are you from Germany? We are from Germany. For the choruses, I like to add double vocal lines, especially for that Ramstein style sound. So what you do is you sing the same thing, preferably three times, one for the middle and one for the left and one for the right. 
I was a little lazier than that, so I just sung once and then used the other chorus and a stereo delay in order to get the sound. Good production is lazy. So it all kind of layers up and works out fine. The last trick is to add a hard limiter in the master. Okay, so now you know how to sound like Ramstein, so go out and make some more Ramstein because clearly these are instructional videos and not just an excuse to make a couple of cheap jokes at other bands' expense. I'm really excited for the video that I have coming up. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to fully play my guitar for the last month or so, so I'm expecting that in maybe a month, maybe a month and a half, and videos a little bit more regularly throughout 2020 should all go well. I look forward to seeing you then, and of course, check out the old videos. There's one over here or over there. It could be anywhere. Who knows? It's it's the future that you're watching. I'm in the past. Add your name to the subscriber list. I'll do a German voice reveal at 5 million subs.